Iran claims it has captured another U.S. drone over its territory. The Revolutionary Guard says the unmanned aircraft was brought under control by Iran's air defense units after it entered the country's airspace. A U.S. Navy spokesman claims, though, none of their drones have been lost. Let's discuss this with Professor Sayed Mohammed Morandi, who's joining us live from the University of Tehran. Mr. Morandi, who do we believe here, Tehran or U.S. Navy officials? Well, I think historically speaking, um, in these, um, on these occasions, on such occasions, it's been the Iranians who've been more truthful and who've been um, accurate in, in their statements. Um, the United States still, uh, over a, a last time when the Iranians brought down uh, a drone, an American drone, a very advanced American drone, safely, and were able to capture it. The Americans denied it, and they said that it crashed, and they made all sorts of contradictory statements and stories. Uh, the Western media still, even now, uh, is uh, unwilling to concede that the Iranians were able to capture it, uh, because I think it implies that Iran has a, a very capable um, electronics warfare capability and that the Iranian military industry is, is highly advanced and that's something that the Americans really don't want to acknowledge and they don't want others to accept. Right. If, if America does not want to acknowledge that one of these drones is theirs, then who will this drone belong to? Who does it belong to if not the U.S. in your opinion? Well, it already belongs to Iran. There has been some footage shown on an Iranian website, I think on the Fars News Agency website, of a drone and of two uh, military commanders uh, looking at the, co uh, the drone itself. Uh, I think what is important is that, uh, well, first of all, the Iranians will be using the technology to develop uh, more advanced drones of theirs where they can use to survey or carry out surveillance operations over Palestine as well as over um, areas in the Persian Gulf. But I think more importantly is the fact that the United States is behaving in a very hostile manner towards Iran. The very fact that drones are constantly going over Iranian airspace, the Americans are carrying out um, uh, psychological warfare against Iranians. They've shut down the Iranian Central Bank and uh, preventing Iran from even importing medicine uh, and some people have died because of a shortage of medicine in Iran because of the sanctions that the EU and the United States have imposed on the country and also uh, the fact that uh, even Iranian radio and TV they've been banned uh, by American the Americans and Europeans uh, for example press TV is no longer viewed in, in Asia, Europe, and North America. So they are trying to strangle the Iranian economy, hurt ordinary Iranians, and to silence the Iranian people. And I think that uh, hurts them more than anyone else because it shows how aggressive Western countries are behaving and yes, how but irrational Washington, and uh, barbaric. Washington has maintained that its drones don't violate Iran's borders. I mean, uh, but, and if they do, as Iran claims, what do they look for? Well, we, the Iranians have already captured an, a very advanced American drone deep inside Iranian airspace, and that is a, uh, in violation of international law. They've shown the footage and they've shown the drone last year to foreign reporters. So obviously the Americans, <clears throat> just as they're probably being dishonest now, they've been dishonest in the past. What is significant is that this heightens tensions because this forces Iran to behave more aggressively towards the United States and its allies because it sees such actions as a, a potential th threat. The only reason why American drones could be in Iranian airspace is for them to uh, carry out surveillance operations against Iranian targets. Professor Syed Mohammed Morandi from the University of Tehran, thank you for your time.